Hi, in this video we'll show you how to easily speed up your teamwork with multi-editor editing in D5 Render for Teams. This feature enables team members to work on different parts of a project at the same time. For example, while you're focusing on the main architecture, your colleagues could simultaneously work on the landscapes or interiors. You're able to customize the way your team collaborates, according to different parts of the whole space or even different modeling software. To achieve this, we introduce to you WorkSets. A project itself serves as a central file in D5, and by dividing the tasks among the team, different WorkSets are created and assigned to each person in charge. Since projects across various industries tend to vary significantly, WorkSets allows you to tailor the workflow to your specific needs. Let's take this villa project as an example to show you how it works. 1. Decide on the members involved in this project and their assignments. 2. Split the project model correspondingly, and save each part separately. 3. Open D5, create a new scene, import the models. 4. Use the align command to align the models. 4. Save the project to the team project library. 5. Alright, moving on to work sets. Go to menu. File, multi editor convert to convert the project into a multi editor one. Click on custom work set to create architecture. Landscape Post-processing and output work sets Then select the models on the left to add to the corresponding work sets on the right Confirm and there you have it Now from the project library on the welcome page, you'll find the multi-editor project with an icon in the upper right corner of its thumbnail. Double-click on it, and the assigned work sets will display with an auto-generated default work set. Team members involved in this project can then dive into their own work sets and start working. Let's try with the architecture work set, and open the scene. You're only allowed to edit your assigned model in the work set and cannot affect the ones from other work sets. Once you are done with material editing, camera setting or model placing in your architecture work set, save it. Then you will find all the changes you made are automatically merged into the central file. For members working on the other work sets, they at the same time get a notification of your update in the work set which allows them to see the changes you made right inside their own work sets. If their work sets are saved, you as well will get notified on their updates. To ensure the best real-time performance and efficiency during this process, D5 provides a performance mode option for you to check out other members' updates in lower quality. This is perfect for considerably large projects or for team members who require less of super precise real-time previews. While the architecture and landscape parts are making progress, the colleague in charge of post-production and rendering output is also working on the perspectives, testing effects with D5 Studio, ready to finalize and export the renderings. Under Workset Mode, D5 Sync, Live Sync plugins are also supported. In some cases, resources from one workset may interfere with other members' worksets in the scene. You can place such resources on the same layer and then set visible to this workset only for this layer, so they don't display in other worksets. Abnormal exit from D5 can result in the workset, or central file, continuously showing as being occupied. To solve this problem and reopen the scene, contact the team administrator for a forced quit of editing status in the project library. When the project collaboration is finished, 
and you no longer wish to continue with multi-editor editing. Open the central file, go to menu, file, convert to a normal project, and you can merge all the work sets, combining them into one file. That completes the tutorial of multi-editor editing in D5 Render for Teams. Have a try at this cutting-edge collaborative solution and discover the potential of your team's workflow. Thanks for watching.